detection system on board and then deploy those drogue parachutes, which we just see on your screen right now. I can't get over these <laughs> views today. Um, and of course, right now... Visual on two healthy drogues. Good news there for mission control. Copy, we see the same, two healthy drogues. Um, and good response from our crew. <laughs> this is a view on board Dragon looking at the drogues. And six Dragon, crew brace for mains. Copy, brace for mains. And we are expecting the main parachutes to deploy here in under a minute or so. So, oh, right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, those are amazing. <laughs> right now, those drogue shoots are doing that initial slowdown, um, and it looks like we're getting views here of main parachute deploy. We see visual on four healthy mains. Six Dragon, we see the same, four healthy mains. <laughs> And you can see that the main parachutes have deployed. They are expanding. Once they're fully expanded, they are going to slow the vehicle down all the way to about 16 miles per hour, right in time for splashing down into the Pacific Ocean today. <laughs> right now, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on board. 1, Copy, 1,000 meters. Dragon right now is also terminating, terminating the nitrox suit and cabin purges and is beginning to increase pressure in preparation for landing. And additionally, the mission control team here in Hawthorne is reporting the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team so that they know exactly where... 800. Where the... Copy, 800. Exactly where they're expected to touch down. And you are hearing those call-outs. We are confirming the altitude as the vehicle makes its way uh, back down to Earth. And of course, uh, now that we've had confirmation of both Drogue and main parachute deployment with these great views of our crews <laughs> inside Dragon on your screen now, um, our next major milestone is Splashdown. Yeah, very excited with these awesome views that we're getting. 600. 600 meters. Landing in water is simpler, therefore more reliable, and it provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. Now, we had to learn how to make Dragon waterproof, but once you do, it's a uh, rinse, review, and reuse. <laughs> 400. Copy, 400. You're just now joining us. Crew racing the flashdown. You are watching the From 2 crew make their way back down to Earth and <laughs> amazing daytime views. I love that we got the opportunity to do this. You could see Dragon and 200. Copy 200 meters and braced for splashdown. Inside of that Dragon capsule are the four from two crew members about to splash down here in just a few few seconds. Confirmation of splashdown of the Dragon spacecraft. Dragon has returned home with the From 2 crew. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon splashdown and they will now start making their way to the splashdown location. Our teams have been ready and waiting for this return about three nautical miles away. So it's going to take them about 30 minutes to make their way to Dragon. That was the first Dragon. Stable one. <laughs> Copy, stable one. We see main shoots cut. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home.
great confirmation there from our mission control team that we've seen main chutes cut. Um, we do that to make sure that those main uh, parachutes, once the capsule is safely back in the water, uh, don't pick up any wind or drag the capsule. Um, as we have our three recovery vessels, the main Shannon uh, recovery vessel and those two vast boats on their way out to greet our crew. System safety verifications are in progress. We'll report back when recovery personnel are en route. Pretty up close view of the Dragon spacecraft. The From 2 crew still inside. Welcome back to Chun, Yannicka, Eric, and Rabia after their few days in orbit, in polar orbit around the Earth. Very excited to have them back home. <laughs> They're actually not done with the research experiments. They do have one more coming up, which will be exiting the Dragon capsule unassisted. Now we have done this before, just not in Dragon. So this will be a great uh, experiment to, to have for ending their four-day mission in space. This crew really has contributed to a tremendous number of experiments. They did 22 while on orbit, um, contributing to a lot of firsts, um, as well as continuing some longitudinal studies that have been in work for quite some time. The most notable of these was a glucose monitoring experiment, um, which will help us better understands how, uh, understand how glucose performs in the body on both short and long duration space flights. Now we're currently just waiting for the two bass, fast boats uh, as they're making their way to approach the vehicle. They are going to pick up those main parachutes out of the water and then approach the vehicle. Uh, ensure that the vehicle is safe. There's no hazardous uh, gases around the material, around the Dragon capsule, um, and then they'll begin starting their rigging uh, operations to be able to pull the Dragon capsule up out of the water onto the recovery vessel. Right now, our from two astronauts are safely inside Dragon as we await for those recovery teams to arrive. Um, again, they have been stationed about three nautical miles away. And then during our final descent, um, our team was locking in on the precise GPS coordinates of Dragon on landing to communicate that to those recovery teams.